What is a chemical energy to light energy? It is a conversion of the energy produced by the chemical to light energy. The chemical components consist of cations and anions which acquire negative and positive charges respectively, the mobility of these charges produces electricity that is used for a light source. The chemical energy is directly converted into light energy in a combustion process or upon some chemical reaction caused coming in contact with the air called an oxidation reaction. Or, chemical energy can also be converted to electrical energy to obtain light energy. The mobility of the charges present in the objects also produces electrical energy which is converted to light energy. How to convert chemical energy to light energy? The energized photon excited at a certain frequency in a visible region moving with the kinetic energy is called light energy. The chemical energy can be converted to light energy when there is a chemical reaction or mobility of the charges. The excitation of electrons on supplying the energy to the valence electron in an outer shell also produces light energy. Here, we shall discuss some of the examples that convert chemical energy to light energy. There are a number of processes that involves the conversion of chemical to a light source. Combustion of coal. Burning coal gives out light energy along with the carbon dioxide on reacting with oxygen because coal is made up of carbon. This light energy is further converted into thermal energy. Burning. The first thing that comes into the picture is a fire that emits radiation, thus burning converts the chemical energy of the substance into light energy. Burning anything in the open air results in a reaction with oxygen. This releases carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. Any organic substances consisting of hydrocarbons, upon reacting with oxygen while burning gives out carbon dioxide and heat. Batteries. On connecting to the source, the cations and anions constituted in a battery move and there is a conduction of electricity on their mobility. This electrical energy generated is converted into light energy. This is used in dry cells, nickel cadmium, lithium ion rechargeable batteries, etc. Bioluminescence Some organisms possess luciferin which upon reaction with oxygen in the air gives out light. Fireflies, phytoplankton, dinoflagellates, mushrooms, and even jellyfish consist of this chemical. Petroleum Petrol readily catches fire on coming in contact with fire. On burning the petroleum, it releases light energy giving out thermal energy in the form of heat and produces gasoline. Highly reactive elements When these highly reactive elements come in contact, they get oxidized and catch fire giving out light. The most highly volatile element in the air is potassium, which upon coming in contact with air, directly catches fire. Hence, potassium is stored in kerosene to prevent it from coming in contact with air as kerosene is hydrophobic too. Rubbing We know that rubbing causes the particles to present on the surfaces of objects to get charged. Sometimes rubbing continuously produces the excitation of these charged particles due to the frictional force applied on the surfaces that are rubbed across each other. Due to the enormous excitation of electrons, the object catches fire and transfers heat energy into light energy. Electricity through chemical energy When two chemical components react, there is an exchange of the cations and anion among each releasing a huge amount of energy during the reaction. If you take solution A in container A and solution B in container B and insert the ends of a wire dip in both the containers and connect a light bulb in a closed circuit, then you will notice that a bulb glows. This is because there is a migration of charges from container A to B and from B to A that produces electricity across the wire and helps the bulb glow. Nuclear Fission the sun is an example of the light radiated due to fission between the hydrogen and helium atoms and this technique is also used in nuclear gadgets. 
It is a process in which a parent nuclei splits up into two daughter nuclei releasing out huge amount of energy. This immense amount of energy is obtained due to the kinetic energy associated with the nuclei which come and bombard the parent nuclei. On colliding with the nuclei, mobile nuclei energy is transferred to the parent nuclei and it becomes unstable thus splitting up into two daughter nuclei and the process continues. The thermal energy thus produces radiates energy in the form of heat as well as light. Frequently Asked Questions Can friction produce light energy? The friction is produced when two surfaces rub across each other. The heat energy is generated pertaining to a friction force. If there is a combustion of the object constituting the highly reactive chemical element then friction may result in the conversion of chemical to light energy. Why some living creatures can emit light deep underwater? Deep in the ocean light does not penetrate through the water levels. But there are some organisms like a few mushrooms, phytoplankton, corals, that emit light. This organism possesses luciferin that radiates light when reacts with the oxygen in the water. Please visit our website lambdageeks.com for more articles on technology, engineering, mathematics, and various other domains. scientific calculator and many more other tools.